In this demonstration, we will look at an electronics enclosure that contains a number of different electronics modules. As an example, we will look at one of them at the rear of the equipment and open in a new window. This module has been prepared for collaboration by adding the electromechanical components to the board and also shows the mechanical items such as the heatsink and the front panel. Each of the electromechanical components have had attributes added that define the reference designator, package type and part number so the assembly is ready for collaboration. We proceed to publish the baseline data and also note the mechanical items will also be packaged together with the electronic data. The built-in workflow notification process tells the electronics engineer that the published information is ready for reading into Expedition. The data includes the board outline, mounting holes and all electromechanical components and can be viewed in both 2D and 3D. The mechanical data is now also adopted into the design, giving the engineer full visibility of the complete design. The electronic design can now be populated with the remaining electronics components and when the initial placement is complete, is sent to the mechanical engineer as a proposal of change. We see here a large number of components have been added. The data is sent and optionally includes the 3D models for each component. The mechanical engineer now reviews the collaboration history and sees the new proposal for review. The data is read and is previewed as simplified representations of each component. Each component can be accepted or rejected at this point in the exchange. In this case, we will accept all components. As the components are added, NX looks at the local library for 3D models and adds it where available. Components that do not already exist are created on the fly from the collaboration data package and positioned in the correct location and orientation within the design, something quite unique to the Siemens solution. The two domains, mechanical and electronic, are now fully synchronized. On the electronic side, the response is reviewed that confirms the collaboration has been fully accepted. Let's now look at a small change to reinforce the efficient workflow. We will move a few components on the top side of the board and then prepare the collaboration proposal. We can see the five components have changed and importantly that is the only data that will be exchanged. The mechanical engineer receives a change notification and reviews the collaboration history once more. Here we see the previous baseline and proposal has been processed and we have a new proposal to review. As before the data is previewed and we will accept the change and see the component positions update. Once again the domains are in sync and ready for the next steps in the process. This could be further component changes or if component placements are complete, the routing can take place on the electronic side. On the mechanical side for this company, there is a design rule that electronic components should be at least 0.8 millimeters from all mechanical components. This protects them from being damaged during shock or vibration. We can set up a design rule that checks the module for MCAD owned components against all other components to verify if we have any violations. In this simple example we have only one design rule, however multiple rules can be stored and reloaded based on company requirements. The violations are viewed in the explorer and analysed. We see two violations and requests to move these components can be proposed to the electronics engineer through the same process of proposals with accept and reject criteria. The efficiency and ease of use is evidence of how the Siemens tool 
can reduce the design iterations to address electromechanical issues.